स्फुरति विनोदकारी पलपन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्ह जेह नजर समीपे रहो अमारिए नजर समीपे रहो अमारिए कंशाम महाराज नीजे हरि कृष्ण महाराज नीजे स्वामी नारायण भगवान नीजे सुप्रीम ऑलमाइटी और बेलोवेड कंशाम महाराज the path maker to our liberation पूज्य गुरुजी पूज्य भगत जी पूज्य श्री जी भगत and all of you devotees jay swami narayan shriji bhagat come a little this way there you go okay you know nowadays <clears throat> social media has become our all in one it's become our life you can say this lecture katha you can say is more for the older generation but from that factor one will be able to understand even if one is young and viewing your listening to this katha the benefits of the new age of right now and also you can say the negatives but social media what does it provide our news our entertainment and our way to connect with others it's all there now since new technology like smartphones for the past couple years maybe 5 6 7 years you got the iPhone 6 the Samsung Galaxy Edge all these new smartphones coming out every couple months they are helping us or giving us the ability to engage in social media more through their various apps and through their various you can say unique features that that phone or that tablet provides but social media is that our topic for today well i want to first talk about it to help you understand what we're going what we're getting into So most of you devotees kids youths teenagers who are integrated into uh you know coming to CBR's workshops know about social media in our satsang first and foremost we have an app called Loya Dam Satsang and from there you can get your daily darshan you can get your live katha you can get audios you can get videos you can get everything inside that one app so this is a benefit of social media because it helps us engage in religion in satsang it helps us increase our satsang via using the most latest technology in our phones or tablets and it enable, enables us to do satsang in a modern fashion but more so think about puji guruji at the age of 58 he's still traveling and doing vigorous vichran everywhere in the united states in the united kingdom australia and nevertheless india but does he need social media or how did he spread his satsang as of right now i had the benefit of traveling with puji guruji for a month around the united states in different chapters of loyadam in different various states and homes of devotees and there with each and every you can say action guruji did by sitting on a simple chair or by walking somewhere or by even taking prasad each and every devotee with their smartphone and i can say right for a factor that each and every home we went to 
there was not even one single devotee that had a phone that was not smart. A phone that did not, you can say, uh, consist of social medias like WhatsApp and Facebook and Snapchat and all those other media forms. There was not even one devotee. But our devotees have a vision, have a perspective. Lohadam devotees. What? Well, while Puja Guruji was doing these simple tasks, uh, if, if we bring an outsider in and bring him to the temple or bring him to where Puja Guruji is, then pretty much what would happen is that uh, he would be like, why is this person taking photos of, uh, you know, of a swami or a saint uh, eating or standing or walking, etc., so on and so forth. But in reality, what these devotees were doing was taking photos of Puja Guruji while he was doing these simple tasks and then uploading them on social media like WhatsApp and sharing it with other Loyadam Parivar devotees around the United States and in around the world. So that's a benefit in, of social media. Puja Guruji's darshan is very rare, but if one wants to see Puja Guruji, you know, doing katha for a short period of time, or if one wants to see Guruji taking prasad, the best and you can say the quickest form of having his darshan in this manner is social media. So that is its benefit, without a doubt. But Puja Guruji doesn't have to physically appear there. But in many ways, there's much love that we receive today. Something that's impossible becomes possible on our phone. It's hard for us to imagine doing satsang without modern technology. Well, that's a point that needs to be taken more weight, you can say. Why? Because nowadays and for the past five years uh, this live katha live broadcasting uh, every morning and every night on a consistent basis uh, at a very accurate time starting on time and ending on time has made devotees so attracted and you can say so addicted Maharaj says in the Vachnamrut Gandhara first chapter 18th Vachnamrut that He's giving examples of our gnanindriyas or our senses and saying that if one was attracted to this in such a fashion, then a person who is completely addicted to uh, opium, drugs, would be in such a fashion in his region. Meaning, these devotees are so addicted to uh, live katha, not only that, but in different forms of social media nowadays that it's become their life via using their phone or their laptop everything on the internet is considered to be social media but much of that you can think about we have right now in modern technology we use it but 50 years ago or 100 years ago was there this technology no we can even say in the time of Dada Guruji, maybe let's say 35, 40 years ago, when he was there in Vartal and Surat and different, different cities, he spread satsang so much without using social media. Let's take a look at our example of Puja Guruji. He's doing it right now. But even 20 years ago, when he didn't have everything well established, when he was still on the rise, he went from home to home, traveling day and night. And Asmuk Bhagat knows all about that because he's the one who's been taking Puja Guruji all this time for many, many years uh, with Puja Santo and traveling around the United States. That Puja Guruji didn't have social media at this advantage right now at this rate. Yet, rigorous traveling all day long. Yet, Puja Guruji spread satsang. So, that's a benefit, but moreover, it's not needed that social media has to be used to spread satsang. It was done before in the ages as well. But, 
my message to you regarding social media is that it's needed but in a certain direction it can be used but in a proper satsang related direction nowadays many kids use it for both 50% satsang 50% social due to that they don't get the benefit of the doubt and in Mar- uh, in Vachramrut Maharaj says Kadada first chapter 44th Vachramrut um, there is a question asked by a devotee that you know Maharaj talks about affection and uh, how pretty much remembering Bhagwan's murti is called affection right and then Ma- and then the devotee asks that Maharaj how can we develop this um, affection and Maharaj says that by associating with the Akantik Satpurush and then again Maharaj says that we are asso- or that devotee asks we are associating with the Akantik Satpurush but why not why isn't why are we not developing that much affection for Maharaj Maharaj says that you are half associating with the world and you are half associating with Bhagwan and his saint due to that it can never mix it's kind of like oil and water black and white so it's north and south only when we completely let go of the other side and I'm not saying completely what I'm saying is is a negative fashion if you have to talk with your friends uh, with social media uh, using different different uh, mediums for school work or something like that that's not a problem but beyond that uh, beyond um, our age when we use social media it destroys our life because uh, there's so many negative uh, there's so much research that's done on social media and due to that research uh, their scientists have found that there's more negativity than positivity so regarding that factor social media is good but to a certain extent back to my point Puja Guruji or our Puja Dada Guruji did not have any of these factors yet they still made satsang flourish they still worked so hard that now today we're able to reap the fruit now today even I can take my example here that Puja Guruji traveled the whole United States before in his time without any kind of technology and spread satsang by walking and by doing satsang for hours day and night and now today I'm able to just sit on this you can say box and deliver katha to all of you on live katha without me making even an effort that's all the fruits of Puja Guruji we have not done anything even close to uh, what kind of effort Puja Guruji has made in his previous life or in his previous time without any kind of social media so don't be attached to social media in such a fashion where you need it to do satsang but don't be detached to social media that without it you don't need you can do satsang without it why because if you don't touch social media then you won't be able to see live katha but if you do touch social media and if you don't stay within the boundaries then there's always going to be negative influences that will come into your life so coming to that factor I want to tell you a couple of stories in the back in the time in Maharaj's time of how devotees dealt with without social medias and how they connected with Maharaj Santos and how they stayed bonded and grounded in, in satsang without social media so maybe if I give you these examples then you'd be able to understand that it is social media is part of my life but it is not my life meaning it is part of your life but your life does not revolve around this social media so first and foremost I wanted to tell you a story about Vasudhakachar uh, Vasudhakachar was a, a very very cruel leader in this village and one of his subjects meaning one of his you can say uh, servants not so but because that person had to live in the village his name was Naja Jogya was a devotee of Sriji Maharaj 
living in that village of Vasudhakachar, he ruled it. So one day, Vasudhakachar called Naja. He said, if your Swaminarayan is truly God, let him come here by tomorrow morning to grant you darshan, or else I'll break your knees. Now, this was the kind of, you can say, blunt, uh, you can say, uh, slur that Vasudhakachar told um, Naja Jogya that if your Bhagwan Swaminarayan is true, then let him come here and I'll give you until the morning, tomorrow morning. And if he does not come, then I will break your knees. This is what he said. So Naja Jogya returned to his home. He sat down with Amara. At the turn of every bead, he chanted Swami Narayan mantra with his heart. The mantra melted away his fear and he continued chanting all night. The Maha Mantra, as all of you know, is very, very powerful. Any trouble that any Bhagwan Swamirana's devotee has, whether it be academically or be like social fear or any type of fear or any kind of problems, by remembering Bhagwan in our mind, chanting Bhagwan's name in our mind, he comes and rescues us. And that's what Naja Jogi is showing here in this story. But I want you to keep in mind that our topic is social media. How is it going to connect with this story? That's your main focus. So, when the sun arose the next morning, a miracle stood at Najajogya's door. He opened his door to see Sriji Maharaj giving him darshan. From 250 kilometers away, in Vishnagar, Maharaj had heard Naja's prayer and left to save his devotee. In one day, he walked the whole distance and suffered blisters and thorns, but a true bhakta had remembered him, and so he came. Now think about it. The next morning, Maharaj himself came and cut 250 kilometers. 250 kilometers. That's probably 350 miles, around 300 to 350 miles. More, right? Around 300 miles less than that. Uh, but more so, Maharaj did this for his devotee. But think about it. Suppose if Maharaj had social media in that day and uh, Naja Jogi had texted, think about it. Naja Jogi had texted Maharaj on his phone and said, uh, you know, Vasur Khachar is going to break my knees. LOL, LOL, uh, what should I do? Uh, please help me. SOS, SOS, save our ship. Maharaj would reply and say, Bhagat, I'm only 250 kilometers away. I am Maharaj, but you understand that's a long distance for one night. But Maharaj is Maharaj, but if it would happen in this text fashion, would that devotee's pain go away? Would that devotee's, you can say, sorrow go away? No. But Maharaj did it his way. Maharaj helped his devotees without using any kind of technology, without using any kind of modern technology, just using his miracles and his, you can say, compassion. And due to that, many, many, much satsang was spread in that time as well. Not only that, but another story of Sadao Sivubay of Kambad. He was a wealthy man. Uh, he, he built a seven-story uh, carved wooden haveli, meaning a mansion, in his time. When the work was done, he went to Vartal. As luck would have it, Gopan Swami was in Vartal as well. So Sadao Shiv asked Gopan Swami to come and bless his haveli meaning to do all the rituals to bless his Haveli before he came to live in it. So Gopan Swami knew what was going to happen in the future because he was antaryami, he was omniscient. So he said, Sadao Siv, we'll, we'll, talk, uh, we'll talk of your opening later. First stay here a few days and listen to our discourses. Well, what had happened was that Gopan Swami knew his future as well, but more than that, a note was received, a letter was received, and right there and there, Bopan Swami took it and he read it 
and Sadasiu was just sitting right in front of him, and he read it, and it said, Gopal Swami said, or it, it read in the letter that Sadasiu's mansion has burned down. So Gopal Swami right there, he folded it and put it underneath where he was sitting, but he didn't say anything at that point. Now social media right there and then. Suppose that Sadasiu had a phone, okay, a text, and pretty much whoever found out that his mansion had burned down, what if he texted him directly and told him that your mansion has burned down? Would he even sit with Gopal and Swami? No. He would not even take the benefit of sitting with Swami because he had already found out. He didn't have any samjan, any understanding. So what had happened was, listen, Sadasu honored Swami's wish and, stood, uh, and stayed there and listened to some discourses. Gopal and Swami would talk about Sainki, meaning this world is temporary. Every day, this world itself is perishable. We bring nothing to this world and take nothing from it when we leave. So no matter how much suffering or loss comes our way, we would think of it as God's wish and stay happy. This is the samjan, understanding that Gopal and Swami is giving to Sadasu. Never to be upset. Whatever God does, he does for everyone's benefit. Listening to these talks for seven days straight, Sadasu be became firm in this knowledge of the world's temporariness and of God being the all doer. On the seventh day, Gopal and Swami, remember that note underneath where he was sitting? He took the note out, he opened it, and he gave it to Sadasu. Sadasu read this note, but what do you know it? A miracle. Nothing had happened. After reading the note, he just said, Oh, this world is temporary. And he ripped the note apart and he threw it away. But this was all because of Gopal and Swami's preachings. But in our point, social media, what if it was there? And what if he got a text? Or let's even say, what if Sadasu got a Snapchat photo of his burnt down mansion? what would happen? He would be dead, right? He would w run away from Gopal and Swami and we would go there and cry. What if he got a WhatsApp photo of his mansion burned down or a small video clip, a one minute video clip uh, of his mansion burned down? What would happen, right? So, due to that, what I'm trying to prove is social media is good. It's good for everyone. Even here, I'm going to talk about after this lecture, I'm also going to encourage all of you to join a couple of social media groups that we have. But it doesn't mean that it can be misused as well. Especially for satsangis and devotees, my message is directed towards them that as satsangis and devotees, we have Facebook accounts, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, and group me in all these new kinds of media coming out but think to ourselves that am I using it to the fashion where Maharaj and Guruji would be pleased upon me if so then go ahead and use it but if we're going towards a negative perspective I suggest turning back because before you know it there would be more negativity than positivity and it would overrule your life saying that there is benefits positives negatives that I showed you but take the advantage of sh of joining good social media I want to first and foremost if none of you knew introduce Loya Dham Satsang app you can go to the Play Store you can also go to the Apple Store and just type in Loya Dham Satsang app or Loya Dham Satsang and it will come up you can download that that's great uh, also for those who are youths teenagers, kids ranging from the age of like 10 to 25, uh, started this new media called Loyadam Youths, Y-O-U-T-H-S. Uh, there's a Facebook for it, a Google Plus, an Instagram. There's also an email, loyadam.youtshibir at gmail.com. Nevertheless, you can join these social medias by inviting and doing all those admies. I don't know how it works. Uh, there's a whole group 
of devotees dedicated to running that social media uh, all the photos all all the content pretty much is uploaded by them uh, but I, I know for a factor it's a good way of spreading satsang news that's why I'm encouraging all of you to join and last but not least winter workshop 2016 it's launching the registration will be launching tomorrow uh, it will be on our website as well and I'm sure most of you will get in the email the dates will be December 30th 31st and January 1st again the date for winter workshop 2016 is December 30th 31st and January 1st uh, we will be celebrating the new year here uh, for welcoming year of 2017 uh, in the presence of Maharaj, our Puja Guruji and Puja Santo and all of you who come to attend. So I highly suggest um, for those who are considering, instead of going outside, instead of going to New York City, instead of going to any other clubs or any other kinds of social functions to celebrate the New Year, why not celebrate your New Year with Maharaj and all the Santos and Bhaktos that are part of Loya Dam Parivar. Why not celebrate your New Year on a way where it will go better, it will go brighter due to the presence of Maharaj? Why not on the New Year have the darshan of Maharaj and think and have the sankalp and have a thought that Maharaj please bless me with a good year instead of going outside to uh, clubs and other different cities to celebrate the new year where you all you see is just people drunk drinking alcohol and all these negative environment everywhere so I highly encourage each and every one of you youths kids everyone to um, enter into winter workshop 2016 registration will be open tomorrow at the swamiran.org Sharmaniyadarshanam Mandaha Saruchirananam Bujam Pujitam Surnaro Tamir Muda Dharmananda Namaham Vichintai Dharmananda Namaham Vichintai Sri Ganesham Maharajani Jai Almighty Supreme Lord our beloved Ganesham Maharaj Path Mekha to Liberation Pujapat Guruji and all of you devotees, Jai Swami Narayan. <coughs> Two months ago, we have listened some incident happened in the life of a devotee whose name was Dayarji. His father's name was Trikamji. Now Dayarji got many many divine miracle like incident in his life by Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Just as he uh, First, he acquired a higher spiritual status of Samadhi and in Samadhi he got a darshan of Bhagwan and of Aksardham. After that, many times he went to, uh, went to Maharaj and many times he got many, many 
પ્રસાદીની વસ્તુ લાઈક સમ પ્રસાદ લાઈક ફૂડ લાઈક પેંડા સાકર સમ ફ્રૂટ્સ આફ્ટર દેટ મેની ડ્યુટીઝ એક્સ મેની થિંગ ફ્રોમ મેની થિંગ ફ્રોમ મહારાજ સો દયાળજી એવરી ટાઈમ વેન ટુ મહારાજ એન્ડ હી એસ્ક ઓલ ધીઝ થિંગ્સ લાઈક માડા ગૌમુખી એન્ડ મેની અધર થિંગ્સ ફ્રોમ મહારાજ એન્ડ મહારાજ બિકમિંગ વેરી પ્લીઝ અપોન દયાળજી હી ગેવ ઓલ ધોઝ થિંગ્સ ટુ દયાળજી એન્ડ દયાળજી વેન હી કેમ બેક ફ્રોમ સમાધિ હિયર ઇન હિઝ હોમ હી હેવ ઓલ ધોઝ થિંગ્સ લાઈક માડા ગૌમુખી ફ્રૂટ્સ એન્ડ એવરી થિંગ નાવ ટુ ડે ઇન વન ફોર્ટી સેવન ચેપ્ટર સદગુરુ નિષ્કુરાનંદ સ્વામી ડિસ્ક્રાઈબ મેની અધર ઇન્સિડન્ટ હેપન ઇન અ ડિફરન્ટ ડિફરન્ટ ડ્યુટીઝ લાઈફ ઓલ ધીઝ ઇન્સિડન્ટ રિવીલ્સ ધ સુપ્રીમસી ઓફ ભગવાન સ્વામિનારાયણ એન્ડ હિઝ ગ્લોરિયસ ગ્રેટનેસ વાય બિકોઝ વેન વી ફોલો સમબડી ધેન ઇફ વી ગોટ સક્સેસ ધેન નોટ ધ ઓલ ક્રેડિટ્સ not all credits goes on uh, only and only on our part but our leader he also acquired the same credit in the same way here there are so many devotees who has acquired the higher spiritual status and by that they even experience some miraculous uh miraculous divine incident in their life and those incident happen in their life only and only because of bhagwan swami narayan's divine and ever presence now let we see what nishkudanand swami rat in 147 chapter <coughs> એક સો ની વલ્લભ જી સારો પ્રેમી ભક્ત પ્રભુ જી ને પ્યારો રાખે નિયમ અતિ હેત ધારી જમે અન્ન જત ને સુધારી પડીએ કદી જંતુ ની ભ્રાંત ગયું સુખ ન રહી ની રાત પછી એમ વિચાર્યું મન આજ થકી લેવું નહીં અન્ન દેર વોઝ ડેવટી હુઝ નેમ વોઝ વલ્લભજી હી વોઝ <coughs> goldsmith by his caste his business was also was of goldsmith now he was very strong devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and his inclination towards the bhagwan is a uh, very much affection for bhagwan now after becoming a satsangi when he take a vo- oath like uh, we have many times seen in presence or in front of puja guruji or santo when santo or guruji gave some water some drops of water in a palm in a right palm and after that uh, guruji and santo gave a niyams that not to eat meat not to steal in this all our five religious vows and in this way this is the ritual of taking a vows or an oath this means we are uh, acquire we accept this swaminarayan fellowship so when vallabhji soni he <coughs> he had taken this vows not to eat meat and not to steal uh, in this way he had taken a vows but at the time he abided by these niyams very firmly and for that he always become very cautious at the time of his lunch or breakfast or dinner why because he knew that if by mistake i eat anything that is not suitable for me or that is n- what is not suitable to a duty of bhagwan swami narayan and if i eat that things then my vow or my niyams break down at the same time that's why he become very cautious but once upon a day when he sat for his lunch at the time he ate his lunch while remembering bhagwan swami narayan and only as his prasad because as a duty he first offer what he had his food to bhagwan and after 
offering to Bhagwan, he take it as a prasad. Even while taking food, he also remembered Bhagwan Swaminarayan. But anyhow, he doubted. After completing his lunch, he thought in his mind. Today I have something wrong in my lunch. Something like a small insect. The again, the next minute, his mind said, "No, no, no. It's not. Uh, it's not like a insect. It's kind. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's like a food. No, no, anything else." But again, his mind said, "No." today something wrong something wrong is happened something wrong is happened till the time of his dinner his mind make him make a uh, create a very great confusion in his mind now again and again repeatedly he think about his lunch that by mistake i have eaten some insect i have eaten some insect in actually he had not eaten insect because his food is clean and pure <coughs> this is only his doubt now what happened at the time of dinner when he sat for a dinner at the same time he again remember the incident of lunch so the thought have uh, occur in his mind that today by mistake i have eaten some insect so this is breaking of my niyam then at the same time he said no i don't want to eat anything and he given up all his food not only for that time but forever now what happened you think you can think for yourself what happened if we do not eat for two days or even a w- one day nothing we become very very um lazy and we become very uh, strengthless very become tired nothing else but many days passed without food Vallabh Ji Soni, he drinks only water. He didn't take anything else as a food. Still, he remained very healthy. Nobody can guess that this person can have a fast for many days. This this is happened only because of Maharaj. Because Vallabh Ji Soni, he had such kind of devotion towards Maharaj. And he understood the glory and greatness of maharaj that only and only because of thinking about maharaj and his greatness he remain healthy and without uh, and his body remain without weakness he got he got the strength from thinking about maharaj not from a food but af- after many days when maharaj knew about this incident maharaj sent message for vallabh ji that don't do the same thing for many days stop this thing and eat from today now for many days as vallabh ji denied to eat anything from that day to for many days even though he didn't eat anything still he had a strength like somebody who has eaten three times a day even though vallabh ji didn't eat anything he ate all this time only and only greatness of maharaj and the most important most important thing is that he he was thinking about this this much the greatness of maharaj still I got the darshan of Maharaj. I got a company of a such a ekantik sant who had direct contact of Maharaj. 
now only and only with this strength he remain healthy now when he got a message from maharaj that he had to stop this fast and he started to eat uh, all this uh, uh, food and everything now for that day from that day he automatically hunger he he felt hunger and after that he started to eat in this way bhagwan swami narayan is for our presence and only by thinking about him or only by thinking about his greatness one can remain healthy and one can have one can perform many days fast this is the incident happened in the life of vallabh ji soni now in the next incident niskuran swami described the other incident happened in the life of vajay singh he was very very uh, he was very staunch devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and once upon a day after many years passed in the satsang he did seva and satsang with the santos he even got many times bhagwan's darshan but after some years once he fell very serious ill illness now he had no anything else in his body but he had he had a very serious fever and because of fever one day after one day one by one day his body become very weak very very weak even he could not wake up from his bed this is what his situation but the most important thing is that this vajay singh even though his body didn't work even though his body he, he couldn't even wake up from his bed still he is doing bhajan of bhagwan swami narayan this is the most important thing in his life he even he didn't have any kind of care or any kind of tension or any kind of uh anything for his weakness or his illness or his fever but he al- always engage himself in worship of bhagwan he chanting bhagwan's holy name swami narayan swami narayan swami narayan and <coughs> even he didn't have anything with the disease or his fever but on the other hand maharaj is the most compassionate bhagwan that's why he had tension he had a uh, very much intention to cure the disease of his devotee and that's why bhagwan himself divinely present there in front of vajay singh vajay singh was lying on on his bed and because of weakness he cannot wake up or he cannot give respect to maharaj or he couldn't give anything to maharaj but maharaj said it's okay at the time maharaj divine is present in front of him and by having the son of maharaj vajay singh become very pleased that in such a situation it is great fortune for me that maharaj gave me a darshan now after having darshan um vajay singh was vajay singh couldn't do anything for maharaj but maharaj asked him how is your health maharaj very lovingly putting his hand on vajay singh's head and maharaj asked him do you have any pain in his in your body then vajay singh said no maharaj nothing then maharaj had a stick in his hand at the time one thing is that in hindu scriptures and in a hindu religion we believe that all those diseases fever or cancer or plague or any other diseases they are they have their 
um, they have their own form just as we have our body in the same way this this is how their own form this is what our Hindu believe now in, in this way uh, as Maharaj uh, Maharaj so uh, compassionately on uh, Vajay Singh's body and as Maharaj make a sankalp meaning he did a sankalp that uh, and because of Maharaj sankalp this fever this serious high fever he came out from the body of Vajesi and he stood in front of Maharaj by folding his hands <coughs> when this fever standing in front of Maharaj nobody can see it because it has uh, some kind of such a form that we cannot see it but Maharaj can see him now this fever he was even standing with folding his hand in front of Maharaj Maharaj uh, Maharaj had a stick in his hand and Maharaj uh, beat that uh, fever with his with a, with the stick three times and Maharaj uh, with very strong words Maharaj said you should not come into my duties life into my duties body and this fever by folding his hand he said sorry Maharaj sorry I will never make the same mistake and in this way Maharaj gave darshan to this Vajasing and uh, not only gave darshan to Vajasing but also uh, without medicine without anything else Maharaj cure his disease now after uh, this incident the another incident happened in the life of Adit Kadio, the same incident happened in in the life of Adit. Um, same t uh, in the same, uh, just as uh, Vajay Singh got a high fever. In the same way, Adit also had a high fever, and Maharaj gave a divine darshan to him. And in the same way, Maharaj uh, cured his disease. The another, the last incident written in the 147th chapter by Nishkudan and Swami that was the incident happened in the life of Bapu Bhai <coughs> Bapu Bhai was a businessman and he was also very staunch duty of Bhagwan Swami Narayan but he was not a satsangi or he was not a duty of Bhagwan Swami Narayan by his birth but after when he came in a contact of Bhagwan Swami and Santo after that he become a satsangi now after become a satsangi he become very staunch devotee of Bhagwan Swami once upon a day he had desire to have a darshan of Maharaj but because of his business work he could not find time to go to Garda or Vartal for a darshan of Maharaj and that's why some kind of pain or some kind of uh, sorrowful feelings remain in his heart that I could not have darshan of Maharaj and that's why the day and night day and night for many days he remained very very much in a tension and in stress that why I I cannot have darshan of Maharaj. Yes, he had strong desire to have a darshan of Maharaj. Maharaj divinely came to give to give uh, give him a darshan. Maharaj manifested in front of uh, Bapu Bhai, and not only Maharaj gave darshan to only Bapu Bhai, but uh, all his family members also the all the villagers and all of the other devotees they all have a darshan of Maharaj and at the same time Bapu Bhai become very pleased after having darshan of Maharaj and even all the other devotees have a darshan of Maharaj so at that uh, at that time Bapu Bhai said to all the other devotees you do the darshan of Maharaj 
till the time i came uh, with some stuff for doing puja of maharaj like some kanku chokha and some flowers some petals of tulsi in this way he went for uh, collecting all these things from his house but at mean time maharaj disappeared from that place and in this way not only bapu bai but also many of the devotees got a darshan of maharaj because maharaj was not was not uh, actually present at that place but he divinely present he divinely manifested only for bapu bai's devotion now in this way nishkulanand swami described many incident happen in a life of devotees different different devotees and he concluded describing this last incident in 147 chapter and finally nishkulan and swami wrote gana thaya thase avatar vaadyo aak vale ani var gana thaya thase avatar vaadyo aak vale ani var आज आप जे जे आनंद लखी नहीं शके निष्कुणानंद इन दिस वे निष्कुणान स्वामी सेट देर वो मैनी अवतार्स हैपन ऑन दिस अर्थ एंड देर विल बी मैनी मोर हैपन इन अ फ्यूचर बट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ मिरेकल्स और व्हाट काइंड ऑफ डिवाइन इंसिडेंट happen in the life of devotees of bhagwan swami narayan this is all because of bhagwan swami narayan's greatness and that's why no previous avatars or no any future avatar of bhagwan can be compared with bhagwan swami narayan because bhagwan swami narayan is a supreme he he is the cause of all these incarnations he is the cause of all that's why nishkulan swami said what what kind of happiness or what kind of such kind of uh, miraculous uh, divine experience given by bhagwan swami narayan to his devotees we cannot fully describe those incident because we are in very very limit and maharaj is the limitless in this way nishkulan swami concluded this 147 chapter we will enjoy the other incident happen in the life of other devotees in a next time sri ganeshyam maharaj ni jay sri patim sri dharam 